y'all, it's Jennifer of the beauty blog JennySueMakeup.com and welcome to my YouTube channel today. Today we're going to be discussing three simple steps to concealer success. I've had to record that a couple times, but three simple steps to concealer success. Now as you're looking at me, hopefully you can tell that I've already had success with my left eye because it looks nice and bright and then the right eye I have left bare so that I can show you exactly how I did that today. Now we can get all sorts of fancy with concealer steps, but I find that there's three steps that if you can nail those, it can really make a dramatic difference to your face and really brighten your complexion and make your eyes look nice and bright. So let's get right into it. So the first step is to go ahead and have your foundation done. Now I always like to have the foundation done first and then apply the concealer next because the concealer is kind of your heavy hitter. It's what you're bringing the complexion home with. So you don't want to do your concealer first and then dilute it with foundation afterward. So obviously I already have my foundation on right now plus an, a few other steps of makeup, but I want to go ahead and have that done. Then the second step is to apply your concealer with a concealer brush. You're just going to get a lot better manipulation of the product and put it exactly where you want it to go. And also, you want to skip the whole triangle method. You want to put your concealer and place it exactly where you see the hollows and the darkness of your eyes. So today, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer Healthy Skin Concealer. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, y'all know that I try every kind of concealer on the market. And I actually just noticed that Glamour.com named this one as their best drugstore concealer um, for 2021. So that's why I bought it. Um, and the color that I'm going to be using today is Ecru Light 2. So it kind of has this slight peachy base, which is really good for brightening dark circles under the eyes. So I'm actually gonna use the tiny applicator that it comes with, because it is really nice and small, and I can put it exactly where I want it, but I will be using a concealer brush to apply it with. And this one is the IT Cosmetics. It's a dual-ended brush. It has a more flat tapered end for application, and then it also has a little diffuser fluffy side. So I'm gonna take the concealer, and I'm literally going to apply it just where I can see the hollows of my eyes, because we only want to brighten the area that's dark. We want we don't want to um, brighten area that's already bright because then there's still that contrast there. So I'm going to keep it nice and tight because I can really see where my 43 year old darkness is right underneath my eyes. So you can see it's kind of right there is where it is the darkest. So once I apply that, I do like for it to get a little bit dry and tacky before I rub it in. So then now it's kind of sat there for a while and I'm just going to rub it in with my concealer brush exactly where I can see the darkness right here in kind of the tear duct area if you can see that up to the lashes and then right to where I can see where that hollowness stops underneath my eyes and where it's really dark so then once I've done that I do like to take my dual ended brush and just kind of buff it into the skin. Now with concealer, it's good to work in light layers. If you feel like you don't have enough coverage, some people don't love a lot of concealer and you could stop at this. I'm actually going to do a second layer real quick, just to be working in light layers. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit more right there and then use both sides of my brush to really brighten up that dark area right there and then use my finger to kind of press it in. So after that second step, you're going to now set that concealer. I never like to leave my concealer just as is. I always want to set it with a little bit of loose powder. So this is a very necessary third step. Even if you feel like you have really dry, older under eyes, which I know a lot of older women think that, oh, I can't have any powder there. It's gonna make me look older. Not so, just use a very, very light touch of powder and a loose powder is always best. I will be using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder that y'all know I use in practically every video. That's one thing I almost never switch up, but it's just that good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of powder. I'm gonna dust a little bit off of my hand because it I got a little heavy handed. And then I'm gonna use my little tiny egg sponge and I'm just going to lightly press and roll that powder on top of the concealer. Also, adding a setting powder to a liquid or cream concealer takes away the shininess of that concealer, which a shiny concealer can almost add more of a spotlight onto the dark circle. So if you can mat out that concealer, it actually gives the illusion of the skin looking a little thicker, which is what we want because that gives the illusion of your under eyes being healthier and more youthful and not having that hollowness show through. So just to take away a little bit of that shine is very, very necessary. So once you've applied that setting powder, 
then you're good to go. Then you could go on and do your blush and your highlighter and your lip gloss, which I've already done. But that's really it. If you want to know how to put on concealer and you want to do it simply and easily, just follow those three steps. So I'll review them one more time. First step is to go ahead and apply your foundation first. Do your concealer second, because that's your heavy hitter. That's what you're bringing your complexion home with. Home with. Skip the triangle method that you see on TikTok and everything where the women are taking that concealer and putting it like all over their face in a triangle. No, if you want to take away those dark circles, you literally only want to hit the exact hollows of the eyes and it's best to use a concealer brush so that you can get right in the hollows of those eyes and only brighten and cover those dark circles and not mess with the rest of the um, skin around the eye. Then your third step is to go ahead and set it and forget it. So use a loose powder, just very minimal. That's really all you need unless you're like 18 or 20 and you can just bake away and let it sit there and a bunch of powder doesn't bother you. But at 43, us older women, we need a light handed touch of a finely milled loose powder just to set it and just to take away that shininess underneath the eye and give the illusion of the eye being nice and flat and bright and that skin being a little bit thicker. And then you look all bright eyed and bushy tailed. So that is it for today's video. I told you it's gonna be short and sweet. If you're interested in any of these products, my brush, the Neutrogena concealer and my all time favorite um, loose powder. I will leave links to these products in the description below of this YouTube video so you can go check it out for yourself. And if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I have to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, if you found value in it, if you learned something, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. We always like a thumbs up. So until the next video, I will see y'all later. Thanks friends, bye. It did make a difference, didn't it? And it was simple. I think that's the key. People don't want complicated makeup advice anymore. People want to keep it nice and short and sweet to the point. Did I literally take, did I literally take five years? It was a six minute video, so that was good. And I watched the whole thing. Did you learn something? Sort of. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good.